Hi, I'm Amy from Amy Renew Designs, and today I'm here to share with you some tips for putting together these dimensional flowers like the ones I created for this art piece that I made for my girls' makeover room as part of the Cricut Design Space Finals. All of these flowers I cut out using my Cricut Explorer, and I'm going to show you today some tips for putting together flowers that you really enjoy. So today we're going to do this peony that I cut out. It's from the Floral Home Decor cartridge. But the same thing applies for any of the dimensional flowers that you'll find, and all of these tricks can be used for putting together all sorts of different flowers that you want. You'll notice that this peony inside has a filament that's really fine. I'm going to show you a trick for getting that off the mat. Now my first tip, excuse the reach, is to use the light grip mat, and it will help, and this is for all of your petals. It helps pull the petals off a lot easier without them sticking to the mat and that way you can bend the petals where you want instead of having to deal with how you bent them when you were trying to pull them off. But this you'll see has a lot of really fine stamens to it and so you don't want to bend those or end up ripping them off. So my tip is to use the spatula that comes with the Cricut Toolkit. It's fantastic for getting underneath all of the pieces and you just slide it underneath and all the way through and it will just lift off that whole piece in one flat piece and that way you can bend it where you want and you don't have to worry about ripping off any of those really cool pieces that add such fun detail to your flower. Once you have all your pieces off I found that the easiest way to go you'll start looking at all of these different petals and going okay what am I supposed to do with all of these petals my first tip is to start and put them in order from biggest to smallest because that's typically how they're all going to get put together. So I usually just line them up on the desk in front of me in order so that I know which ones are going to go where and then as I'm gluing them together I always just start at one side and work to the other and that way I know that they go in the right order. So what you want to do is you're going to take each individual petal and this is when you want to curl the petals. If you want to ink the edges, now is the time to do it. One tip for inking the edges is you want to think about which way you're curling your petals. If you're going to curl them in or you're curling them out. Because if you ink on this particular flower, we curl the petals up. You know, the peony is a flower that kind of curls up on itself and makes this glorious ball of lots of petals. And so you won't want to spend a lot of time inking the edges that might be hidden from the way that you're curling your flower. So just make sure that you're paying attention to if you're curling them in or curling them out and you may want to ink the outer edges of these petals instead of the inner edges where you might not see it as well. And the other thing that you're going to want to do before you glue any of them is you're going to want to go through and curl your petals. Now a friend of mine showed me this tip for curling them and in order to get a nice soft rounded curl instead of bends and creases is to take your petal and just, just breathe on it really quickly. The moisture and the heat from your breath helps to soften the paper just enough to curl the edges in the way that you want. And it just makes it really quick and easy to get a nice curl instead of a bend on your petals. So you're going to go through and curl all of the different petals that you have. And once you have them all curled, then you're ready to put your flower together. Now before you... Um, I recommend using a hot glue gun for this just because it dries a lot more quickly and it's easier to hold it in place but if um, if you don't have a hot glue gun try to find a quick drying glue um, and that will work better if you have to use just a regular glue then what you can do is when you put the pieces together you can use a clothes pin um, to help hold those pieces in place while you are waiting for the glue to dry and that way you can move on to other pieces without having to just sit there and wait for glue to dry forever. Now if you have, are you going to use a hot glue gun, I recommend a low temperature glue gun if you can. Your fingers are going to get fairly close to the glue on these, but um, you know if you don't just be really careful. So I'm going to show you on this particular flower, it's a little bit easy to see. You have a little tab right here. And so what you're going to do, this is where you're going to put glue, is right here on this little half circle. And then you're going to bring it around till it lines up with this other side. And then you'll see that it has just curled up your piece a little bit and added some dimension to that. Now on this piece, you have all of these little circles going around. You have six of them. So you're going to take and put glue on one of the circles. And then you're going to match the glue or the circle from the other side 
up next to the other one. Now this one I put a little extra glue on. You probably don't want quite that much glue because you don't want to be able to see it. But the thing that's nice about this flower is because there is so much dimension to it and so many petals, it hides a lot of flaws. So, and really anything that you do is going to come out looking great with all of the dimension and all of the different details that are in each of the petals already. It's really hard to mess these petals and flowers up. Now the last thing that you're going to do is take all of the layers and just glue them together. And I like to make sure as I'm gluing layers together that I offset the petals so that they're not right on top of each other, but they're off to the side. It just adds a little bit more interest and makes your flower look a little bit fuller. So once you have glued all of the different things together, the last thing you're going to do is add your petals. And this is the last tip that I have for you but it's to take a dowel or a skewer or something small and round that will fit on this little circle inside and it makes it easy to bend down. So I'm just going to put this right in the center and I'm going to fold all the petals up around it so that they are all even and I still have this flat surface on the back. Then while I'm still holding it onto the end of my dowel, that's where I'm going to add just a little drop of glue. And this is the petal that you're going to end up gluing it on, so I'm going to pull this apart and just show you on this. I'm just going to take it and put it straight into the center of that. And I start with the biggest one first, and I put it in the center, and then I take the second one and push them all up, and I'm going to put glue on it again, and I'm going to put that right in the center of the other one. And you'll see that it adds all of that dimension, and then you can just kind of fluff the stamens as you like. So all of the different flowers come from different cartridges and things that you'll find, but all of the tips are the same. Curl your petals first, ink them before you glue them, and then use hot glue to assemble all of these for a quick, beautiful flower art piece for anywhere in your home. I'm Amy Chapel from Amy Designs. Thanks for stopping by.